What's up, y'all? So Megan and Tori case gets messier. Who re who's really to blame, Tori or Kelsey? Was it an accident? Um, I have several things that I, you know, want to say, and I say that before every video. But on this this case right here, yeah, I definitely got a lot to say. Let's get into it. The intro better work. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell y'all leave. So listen, all right? First of all, follow me on Twitch, at Royce's World CEO, which is above my head. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, make sure you follow me on all social medias, though. My Instagram is kind of lame. I don't really be on Twitter, but you know what I'm saying. I should have put my Discord up there. Follow me on Discord. But anyway... Listen, this Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lane situation is a, 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 if the, a, a, a insignificant situation for so many reasons. First of all, we got, you know, our king and our queen going through things as in our black people once again. Um, and at the end of the day, somebody going to get charged for something. Okay. I don't even know if you could get, get through a trial and call it inclusive because the shit just not adding up here. Um, allegedly, you know, it has been confirmed that Kelsey's hand had gun residue on it. I don't know what else we need to discuss. If that is in the motion, we should have nothing going forward here. She should be, I don't even want her to be charged, but it's kind of like we got to... <laughs> Somebody got to be charged, you know what I'm saying? And I wish it was nobody. I wish it never happened, but shit. I just don't think an innocent man should be charged for something he ain't do. Now, am I just saying Tori's the innocent person in the world? Hell no. But the math ain't mathing on this. And I just feel like if he didn't do it, he shouldn't take a rep for what he didn't do. Um. So, yeah, we about to get into this, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Let's get it. Some you know new updates means. came out about the whole Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion case, which really did surprise me. Now, just to give a backstory, last year, Megan claimed that Tory Lanez shot her. This incident took place in July of last year. Megan, her friend Kelsey, and Tory Lanez were leaving Kylie Jenner's house, and in their car, an argument erupted. And this led to shots being fired and Megan getting injured. Now, when the police came to the scene, Megan did not initially say what happened. She didn't say Tori shot her because she admitted that she was scared. She was also scared for Tori. She was scared that if she told the police what happened, Tori might have gotten hurt by a trigger happy police himself. So she didn't say she was shot. She initially told the police and the doctors that she was only injured by broken glass. That was her initial story. Y'all, that's already a problem. Now, from what uh, Denise just said, somebody said that Kelsey, and this is alleged, somebody said that Kelsey had the gun and mistakenly shot it. Tori took the gun from Kelsey, and when Meg turns around, she sees Tori with the gun, and that's why Meg thinks Tori shot her. And I ain't gonna lie, that makes sense. Because first of all, it's his gun, so he had to get it back in his possession. However, I mean, hell, if she was the one who shot her, then she needed to keep it in her possession. Either way, he gets the charge for the gun because it's his gun. Gun laws everywhere, y'all. Mm, guns, drugs, altercations like this. It's just, man, it's a lot that you got to go through for something like this. So um, Megan Thee Stallion man turned around as she was shot. I just, I just feel like she was shocked, didn't know what to do, had to look down and then turn around to see who it was. I don't think you get shot and instantly turn around, but I've never been shot. I don't want to be, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not necessarily sure how it went down. That's why I'm going to continue to say alleged. But with, um, I just feel like with Kelsey, it, it just adds up way more. You know what I'm saying? They were getting into an argument before uh, any gun was fired off. And the thing is, I feel like Kelsey and Megan was arguing over Tory little ass. But then again, I'm not sure. Everybody was drunk. This is just a, 
this is a messy ass situation for um you know people that you know have so much success you know i don't know about kelsey but megan the stallion and, and tory lanes so it's really unfortunate but <sighs> i'm gonna keep listening after that she did come out and say she actually got shot in both of her feet i was shot in both of my feet and thank god that the bullets That's didn't strange. touch bones they didn't break tendons Megan also posted a picture of her wound and said she got hit in the back of her feet while she was walking away facing the back. Megan did eventually name Tori as her shooter. Yes, this Tori shot me. You shot me. Everybody in the car arguing. I'm in the front seat. This in the back seat. I get out the car. I'm done arguing. I don't want to argue no more. I get out. I'm walking away. This from out the back seat of the car started shooting me. You shot me. I don't believe that. So Megan said that Tori that. shot her clear as day. And of course the public is going to believe her. The thing is, if you wasn't turned around to see him do it, I'm sorry he didn't do that. <laughs> and, and the thing is for her to just blatantly come out and say that he did. I mean, granted, I'm not going to act like I'm not a human because I don't do that by activity shit. So I can't act like she can't be upset and blame somebody because somebody did it. But I will be honest. I'll be like, I don't know who the fuck did it. I don't know if it was Tori or Kelsey because I don't fell out with both of them. I don't know who it was. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just be honest with you. I don't know who it was. But if you not turned around to see that he, she said like he was, he was in the car. He shot me. I, I can't believe it. Because why would she lie? Why about, would he throw away his success? And then why would she lie? I don't get it. Something like that. But the thing that made this case. Respectfully. And we had to talk about somebody who didn't have that much to lose in this situation. Y'all is Kelsey. All fingers are pointed at Kelsey. I'm going to just be honest with you. It's very strange is the fact that the two other witnesses in the car did not back up her story. One of the witnesses was Megan's friend Kelsey, and the other witness was Tori's security. Neither one of them came out and spoke up about what happened. So it left a room for a lot of speculation. Megan is claiming that Tori is guilty of shooting her. Tori, however, is claiming that he's innocent. And right now he is facing a felony assault and gun charges over this case, but he refuses to plead guilty. So he would. What do you expect her to do if she turns around and the gun is in his hand? Now, I completely understand that. I do. I completely understand that. But I don't know for sure if it was in his hand either. I don't know for sure because apparently they saying that they found it under the seat. We got a lot of, uh, you know, <clears throat> we have a lot of alleged, you know, um, we have a lot of alleged speculations here, like, will be going to trial we in don't January fully know what's going on year. now he had his preliminary hearing this week and there were a few surprising details that came out now this detective named ryan stogner who is representing megan came forth and said that megan told him that she heard tori lane say dance b and tori's defense attorney sean holly asked no one heard dance b except for megan and Megan didn't say that when she came out and admitted that he did this. She did not say that. Y'all, that video we just watched, she did not say that. We would have been known about that. That's not one of them. That's not something you just keep out. That's how I right. And the detective said, correct. Also, the LAPD detective said that Megan told the police Three that items. Tori offered her hush money and he called her up and apologized for the incident. Now, he didn't specify what he was apologizing for, but he did apologize for something. Now, it could very well be that he apologized for shooting Megan, or it could be that he apologized for the argument that happened in the car because it was revealed that Megan and Kelsey were allegedly fighting over Tori. Nancy Dillon from Rolling Stone tweeted this, Tory Lane's defense lawyer, Sean Holly, questioned Stogner on dispute that led up to the shooting. 
She said argument in the car escalated when it was revealed Tori and Megan had been in some type of intimate relationship. <laughs> Holly said the other woman in the car, Megan's former assistant and friend who had a romantic interest in Tori, became jealous and claimed Megan quote unquote backdoored her. Now this isn't which is probably true. But to be honest, when 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 she came out speaking, she ain't say none of this either. Something ain't right. Information because it was already rumored that Tori was messing around with both Megan and Kelsey, and it actually caused Megan and Kelsey to fall out. Kelsey even hinted at this being the case. We all know that I ain't never wanted none of your names. It was really come to find out. I come to find out your ass was fucking with a nigga behind my back that I was on first. And that ain't right because you're supposed to be my best. You're supposed to be my best friend. Just because you wanted them first, but you didn't get to them first. Honestly, <laughs> you just didn't get to them first, sis. I I'm just saying. But to like, I'm not going to lie. Well, I can't say I wouldn't fall out with somebody about that because certain shit I just don't play about. So I ain't even finna lie to y'all like that. Uh, but if she didn't get to them first, then friend, you just didn't get to them first. Now, the shocking new information that came out during this preliminary hearing was the account of one of the witnesses. TMZ reported that an independent witness told the cops that they saw Megan Thee Stallion and her female friend Kelsey fighting just moments before Megan was shot in the foot. And the detective testified that this independent witness, who I believe is Tori's security guard, allegedly saw the shooting happen. And the witness said the gun muzzle flash went off closer to Kelsey than Tori. Also, Tori's Wait, attorney say that again? flash went off closer to Kelsey than the shooting happened. And the witness said the gun muzzle flash went off closer to Kelsey than Tori. Also, Tori's attorney, Sean Holly, claims that the gun residue was not found on him, but it was found on Kelsey's hands. If y'all don't know what gun residue, well, how gun residue ends up on your hand is because your ass shot the damn gun. If gun residue was not on this man's hands, we do not have a case here, guys. Ain't no way this lawyer just going to corroborate that, however you said corroborate that, and it be false because she would be lying, you know, under a court of law. So if the, the, the gun residue was on... Kelsey's hand. Kelsey shot her. Oh, shit. So this is really a shocking turn of events. It looks as if now the fingers looks are like a jealous ass friend who was trying to kill uh her friend. And and honestly, I don't know if she uh cause to be shot in both feet. I don't know if what's that movie where that lady shot um Eddie or oh, Eddie Murphy shot that lady in the foot. I forgot what that movie was called. But if it was one of them situations, like I don't even know how she was able to like aim it that way. I don't know. Uh, I think that's, I'm, I, I'm a who? I'm going to get you. Sucker. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get you, sucker. But it's called Har Harlem Nights. That's the movie. Yeah, that sounds like that was one of them situations. I mean, dead in the foot, too, because I mean. But if she was walking away. Like, I don't, I'm not trying to insinuate or allege that she was trying to kill her. Like, that is not my job, okay? That's why, oof, girl. <laughs> I don't be liking to do some of these videos, but I got to get into new things. But, um, something ain't right. <laughs> ...are being pointed at Kelsey. Right. Now, I remember that there was some audio floating around on the internet of this man claiming to be Tory's security guard. And in the audio, he was saying that Tory was trying to prevent Kelsey from shooting Megan. Tory and uh, the girl in the car start arguing. Meg walk out because she find out such and such. Tory been messing with both of the women in the car. You know how that go already. Tory got in trouble. Meg hops out the car. Tory and the girl fighting over the gun. Excuse me. Tory and the girl fighting over the gun. The gun accidentally goes off because Tori already knows what the girl is trying to do with the gun. She's trying to shoot Megan. The gun accidentally goes off in the midst of them fighting for it. And the girl shoots. And the bullet accidentally 
it's mirror making. That's why it didn't hit no tendon because it grazed her. It didn't actually hit her. Now I didn't pay. I believe that. I believe that 100%. This audio any mind when it came out because it was never confirmed that this was actually his security guard. In my mind, I thought, okay, this is some random person making something up. So I didn't pay it any mind. But now I'm starting to question some things because in the court hearing, it was said that Tori told the police that he was just trying, trying to, to protect, protect my girl. girl. He did. So was he actually trying to protect Megan from getting shot? Damn, Who Kelsey. Knows? Megan did say her back was turned, so it's possible that she didn't see who actually hit her. I, she didn't see who hit her, but do I blame her for saying he did it? No, especially if the gun was in his hand. However, from him making a whole entire, he made a whole album. I ain't never listened to a Tory, uh, a Tory Lanez album in my life, but I had to listen to this album. And... First of all, I'm so glad I did because he's an amazing artist and an amazing writer. And that was, that was, that album was dope as hell. I still listen to it to this day. But him talking about that, that story, he put that whole story in that album. He is innocent, my nigga. <laughs> Allegedly. I feel like he's innocent. You know what I'm saying? I do. Allegedly. I'm just saying. I just, and I'm not blaming anybody. I don't know who did the shit. I ain't the one in the court. I don't know what the fuck going on. But what I will say is, you know, I don't think he did it. Damn, they on the way. Fuck. Hold on, y'all. I got to ask about this order. Oh, my God. Hey, did you already leave? Okay, I was trying to order two sandwiches and two soups, but I see that it has three items on there. So can you find out if they only put three items on there, please? I need to see if they have two sandwiches and two soups. Yes, two two tuna sandwiches and two soups two broccoli and cheese soups okay i appreciate you so much my bad all right i'm about to text you the gate code too because i didn't put that in the instructions all right no problem appreciate you all right But she may have just assumed that it was Tori. Now, I'm going to be honest. I actually believe the gun really did go off on accident. Me too. I really do. Me I think too. in the heat of the moment when tensions were high, yep. somebody may have been trying to reach for it to intimidate, yep. which I think is kind of dumb. But there yep. are sometimes people. I just honestly feel like, <clears throat> once again, Tory Lanez has entirely too much success to throw it away. Now, do they throw it away? Some of them do. Yes. But I just don't feel like, I just, I've had this feeling since the beginning. I just don't feel like he blatantly tried to shoot and harm Megan, who is a, at the time especially, but still is, you know, a mega star, but a mega upcoming star. That would have been, he would have went up under the jail. So I'm like, ain't no way. It's just no way he did that. And for her to instantly say it was him once again, if the gun was in his hand, which, well, he, he wrestled her for it. The gag is, them wrestling this stupid-ass gun could have killed both of them. Could have killed him and Kelsey. So, like I said, the only one in this, in this situation who does not have anything to lose is Kelsey. Kelsey, you know... This just sounds like a situation of a jealous ass friend, y'all. And these people are out here, okay? They are out here. They are beside you, riding with you, smoking a blunt, okay? And you never know. And they, them will be the ones that take you out of here, man. I'm glad they're not cool no more. You know what I'm saying? But why Tory hasn't brought that up, I don't know. I think publicly, he felt like if he would have threw a woman up under the bus, he would have looked crazy. I honestly feel like that's why he didn't do that. Um, also when, it's, when a trial is going on, you really can't say certain shit, but 
it wasn't even a trial yet. But I'm just, this is, like I said, speculation, alleged. I just, man, it's a mess. Would pull out a gun just to kind of intimidate somebody and say, don't play with me. You know how it is. I mean, some of y'all know how it is. But I don't think it was anyone's intention for the gun to actually go I don't off. either. I and don't nobody either. in that car really is don't. going to admit that they're responsible for shooting Megan. Nobody's going to do that. Kelsey didn't do that. She said, I want to clear up the rumors that I shot Megan. I wasn't the one with the gun and would never do something like that. However, I was present. However, you're now, lying. Now, notice she said that she didn't shoot Megan, but she didn't say who did. Nothing's going to happen to Tori because Tori Meg has, Meg mixed, has statements. mixed statements. Damn, I done, I done put something on that I wasn't supposed to. Thank you, Danny. <laughs> so why she didn't is because I did something maybe I wasn't the to gun do. really did go off on accident and nobody wanted to really say it. But whether it was an accident or we had not, an echo on somebody that. is still going to get in trouble for that gun going off and hitting Megan. That's still a crime, whether intentional or accidental. It's still a crime. Right now, Tori's defense team Nothing's going to happen to Tori because Meg has mixed statements. Using Facts. some of Megan's inconsistencies to get we Tori fix that, off Danny. the case without telling what really happened. But if Kelsey were to take the stand, and if she were to admit that Tori had the gun in his hand, Tori is going to get in trouble. No, he he's ain't. definitely going to face time for sure. And he not going to face time if that gun residue wasn't on his hand. The gun residue is how you get a person, literally, because it ain't nobody else. If gun residue ain't nobody ain't, isn't on anybody else's hand, you know what I'm saying? I don't think he's getting in trouble at all. Anyway, <laughs> tell what you all think about this video down below. Yeah, y'all. I um, like I said, it is not for me to say who did it and all that. I ain't a judge. Don't want to be. I literally just feel as though, um. It was an accident. I feel like it was an accident and I feel like Megan Thee Stallion know it was an accident. But do I do I blame her for going the route that she going? Hell no. Do I think it was Tori though? I don't. Do I think it was Kelsey? I I, I think it was an accident. <laughs> I think it was an accident either way. No, no cap. That's all I got. And once again, this is all alleged. I am not in the court system, nor do I want to be. Um, but I am done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitch right there. And we are done with this video. Later.